Okay, my idea is kind of like, uh, well, it's a thriller, so it's Wolf Creek meets Puberty Blues. Oh, how ingenious. Yeah, even though it's a fiction, I kind of need to know how it would pan out in front of a real-life court. So it's got to be authentic, obviously. Oh, obviously. Yeah, well, go on. What's the scenario? Uh, well, there's three characters, two of which are male and one is female, and one of them gets hit by a car driven by the other two. Still a bit spacey, but I'm on the mend. It's the main thing. Oh, the nurses think you're going to make a full recovery. Yeah. Pretty cool, eh? You're wondering if I remember. Not every day someone tells you they love you. And Don, when, when I said that I was really worried about you, I, I was afraid you weren't going to pull through. Yeah, me too. I don't know how to say this. You didn't mean it, did you? Well, last night you could hear me? I didn't need to. I'm not stupid, Bill. I know you only said it because you thought I might die. You're not angry? How can I be? You got me through this. How have you knew I wasn't telling the truth? Because it meant you cared. Otherwise you wouldn't have said anything. And you've been coming to visit me? As I told you. Yeah. I think I sort of knew, though, anyway. It's kind of weird, eh? Look, I'm sorry I've been so full on, Bill. You know, I've been really lonely for a long time. I think I just lost the plot for a bit. But I want you to relax now. You know, it's all over. There's no more games or threats. It's all finished. I'm sorry I threatened you about the cops too. That was wrong. Yeah, as far as I'm concerned, Bell, the accident and all that stuff, I just want to leave it behind, you know? Thank you. I know you don't love me, Bell. But you feel something, <laughs> that'll do. A new man, Bill. Just give you some time, okay? I'll prove it to you. Well, according to Morak, the guy who got hit by the car doesn't have a legal leg to stand on. Thanks for helping out again. You can drop that pretty lap and off in the yeah, kitchen. Sure. Look, tell me exactly what she said. Well, as far as the accident goes, it's his word against the other two who are in the car. And because you said that he was threatening them, then they won't just stand up. Well, okay, but did you tell her about the injuries, how bad he was, how he nearly died? Yeah, yeah, it doesn't matter. So, it doesn't matter that no one called an ambulance or all the cops? Well, since the guy didn't check himself into a hospital straight away, the court's likely to find that it was his own negligence that made the situation life-threatening. Your mates are off the hook. All right. That's awesome. Thank you. Uh, yeah, it is awesome, but how about you tell me the full story? We're not just talking about some racing buddies here, are we? Yeah, there we are. No, we're not. Drew, I'm not an idiot. Give me some credit here. I can see how invested you are in this. Okay, let me take a wild guess. Uh, you and Bell were driving and Don was after you and you hit him? Yeah. Oh, gosh, you guys must be going through hell. Yeah, it's been hard. But at least Don can't hold that over our heads anymore. Taylor and I can get him out of our lives once and for all. They're already talking about a physio regime for me. <laughs> Sounds a bit full on. So what, what happens when you get out of here? No, I think I'll move in with Mum for a while. If she'll have me. I'm sure she will. I just want to get my life back on track, you know? Get a job, get some money, own my own place. It's good, I'm really glad. But don't you know you've got to do it for the right reasons? You can't do it for me. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Okay. I'm, I'm not going to come back and visit you. I'm sorry. It's all right. I don't expect you to. I don't really plan on being in here too long myself, so you'll see me around. Take care. 
Hey, Bill. I won't give up on us. No, I think we're worth it. I'll earn your love. We'll see. about Reverend Hall. I just don't get what's happening with everyone. Even our friends are turning on him. It's a very difficult time. Thank you for doing such a wonderful cleaning job. I came as soon as I heard you were here. That's as good as new. I wish everything else was so simple. Any news from the hospital? No change, unfortunately. But I've got every confidence the operation will bring Reverend Hall back to us. He's been a friend of mine for nearly 15 years, did you know? We ran a Bible study group together. He's a good man. Any idea on who will be running the congregation until he recovers? The Reverend Owens from Yabby Creek. For the short term, anyway. Until we find a replacement. No, I wouldn't worry about that. Reverend Hall loves preaching. I think you'll be giving him up. I'm afraid that's not the point, Jeff. What's going to happen? Is there some kind of punishment for what he did to those women? Of course not, Annie. The church knows he couldn't help himself. Well, then why can't they forgive him? They do forgive him. 